In this recording, we look at a first example of how to use differentiation by first principles to find the derivative of a particular function. And when we're using differentiation by first principles, the derivative f dashed x is calculated as the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. And for more background on this formula, you can see our earlier maths cast giving the background. But here we'll just have a look at how to apply this method in practice. Suppose we want to find the derivative of f of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 9 using differentiation by first principles. Now clearly the first thing we need to do is work out f of x plus h. So what is f of x plus h? Well, it's a function that's like this one, except that the argument of that function is x plus h instead of x. So therefore, instead of having x squared plus 3x minus 9, f of x plus h will be x plus h squared plus 3x plus h minus 9. Now let's substitute this into our formula here and then we'll have a look at how we can simplify the whole thing. So looking at that formula f dashed x will be the limit as h approaches 0 of this expression here for f of x plus h so that is of x plus h squared plus 3 x plus h minus 9 then minus f of x which was our original function, so minus x squared plus 3x minus 9 and then divided by h. And this limit looks pretty difficult to evaluate at the moment. So with this type of problem where you're differentiating a polynomial by first principles at least, it's usually best to expand the brackets first and then simplify as much as possible. So x plus h squared becomes x squared plus 2hx plus h squared 3 times x plus h that will just become 3x plus 3h then minus 9 here and then minus x squared minus 3x plus 9 when we simplify that last part there. And that's all divided by h. Still looks pretty complicated. Here you'll notice I've just rewritten what we're up to so far so we can focus on this. This still looks pretty complicated but you'll notice some terms will simplify. For instance we've got x squared here minus x squared there. So they will just become 0 so I'll cross those off. 3x minus 3x, similarly that will go to 0, and negative 9 plus 9. So that's starting to look a little bit better. So let's see what we have left now. Limit as h approaches 0, and at this stage we're left with the 2hx plus h squared plus 3h divided by h. So that's starting to look a bit better, but this limit would still not be able to be determined if we substituted h equals 0 at this stage because we would just get 0 divided by 0. So therefore we need to see if we can simplify this further. And you'll notice every term on the numerator is multiplied by h and on the denominator we have h. So let's take h out of the numerator as a common factor giving us h times 2x plus h plus 3 divided by h and that's good because now the h is out the front here on the numerator and this one on the denominator they will now cancel. So what are we left with now? Well now we're just left with the f dashed x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h plus 3 and at this stage we now can substitute in h equals 0. Doing so will just give us 2x plus 0 plus 3 therefore 
first derivative f dashed x of the function we started with is just 2x plus 3. So this is an example of using differentiation by first principles.